Hey guys, it's Angelo and I hope you can hear me well because I'm doing this video on our balcony. Um, so in my last video I talked about cheating and Babushka, I hope you're, I spelled your name correctly, asked about um, whether or not ketogenic diet can cause kidney stones. And so I would like to address that question in this video. So once again, I just wanted to know I'm not a doctor. I just want to share my own experience as well as the research I've done with you. Alright, so are you at a higher risk for developing kidney stones on a ketogenic diet than on a standard high-carb diet? So the short answer is no. You can actually expect quite the opposite to happen. Since a well-formulated ketogenic diet is naturally low in all kinds of sugars and keeps insulin levels down. Let me get into more detail about why that's important. We know since 1967 that the breakdown of fructose can raise uric acid levels very quickly. Table sugar, for example, is 50% fructose, corn syrup is even more than that, and fruits and dried fruit especially um, have high fructose content as well. Apart from being more easily stored as fat than glucose, a high fructose consumption also raises your risk for fatty liver, uh, high blood pressure, and also raises your triglycerides. Alcohol also raises your uric acid levels much in the same way. And when your uric acid levels reach a level higher than 6 mg per deciliter, uh, you run the risk of the formation of kidney stones. The hormone insulin also plays an important role, however. While your kidneys want to get rid of some uric acid by pushing it out through urine, elevated insulin levels actually force your kidneys to reabsorb uric acid into the bloodstream and so your uric acid levels stay elevated. And here's the problem with typical anti-kidney stone diets that are usually prescribed to people that are high risk for kidney stones. You're told to replace purine-rich foods like sardines, mackerel, all kinds of meat, spinach, asparagus and cauliflower with lower purine foods. And coincidentally those higher purine foods are actually some of the most nutritious foods out there. And you're then told to replace those foods with lower purine foods that have barely any nutritional value like bread, cereal, uh, fruit, fruit juices and even sugar or cake. The funny thing is they also then ask you to maintain your weight which is almost impossible when you start replacing protein with sugar and uh, which then can cause many other issues as well. Also dietary purines don't actually contribute to the total uric acid level by more than one milligram per deciliter. In addition the protein in so-called high purine foods actually helps get rid of purines by pushing them out through urine and thus lowers uric acid levels. And let's not forget what I mentioned before. When your insulin levels are elevated because you're eating more bread instead of spinach and instead of eating protein you're now eating more carbs, um, your kidneys are actually forced to reabsorb the uric acid into the bloodstream instead of getting rid of it. So you're likely not actually lowering your risk for kidney stones by doing that, but instead causing many other problems. And there are drugs that successfully lower uric acid levels, but they don't solve the underlying issue either. And here's the interesting part. A well-formulated ketogenic diet that naturally lowers insulin and raises ketones is a fantastic way to lower uric acid levels in the blood without the need for meds. And you don't have to give up your highly nutritious, higher purine foods like grass-fed beef, bacon, spinach, asparagus um, and sardines and mackerel to achieve that. So keto doesn't actually put you at a higher risk for kidney stones but actually helps you prevent the creation of kidney stones or gout. Now maybe you've heard some stories of people who had kidney stones even though they were doing keto. If you ask them, here's what you'll most likely hear. First, they were at a higher risk for kidney stones to begin with and possibly some had some family history of kidney stones or gout. And second, they heavily cheated before getting their kidney stones and this is the critical part. They had a ton of Christmas cookies, birthday cake or something similar and got wasted on beer over the weekend. So let's see what happened. They had tons of sugar, raising their uric acid levels. They had alcohol, raising their uric acid levels and their insulin was higher making it harder for the kidneys to get rid of the uric acid levels and instead force them to reabsorb it into the bloodstream. In addition to that, they were dehydrated because of the alcohol as well. 
When you combine all of these factors, kidney stones can build quickly. It doesn't matter whether or not you were doing keto before. So pay attention and don't take cheating too far. So here's a great way to prevent kidney stones. First, follow a well-formulated ketogenic diet that is naturally low in sugar and fructose and keeps your insulin levels low. And try to focus on mostly whole unprocessed foods. Second, drink lots of water and stay well hydrated. Third, don't yo-yo diet and keep cheating to a minimum, especially if you or your family had a history of kidney stones or gout before. Fourth, if you do happen to cheat, keep it to a minimum and make sure you stay well hydrated by drinking lots of water. And fifth, another thing you can do for the prevention of kidney stones or for kidney health in general is just squeeze half a lemon or half a lime into a glass of water and have that on an empty stomach. Most people quickly see an improvement in uric acid levels in the blood as well as a decrease in calcium oxalate stone formation when doing keto. Some physicians like Dr. Adam Nally, who you might have heard of in the keto sphere, even specifically use a ketogenic diet to lower their patients' risk for kidney stones. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you soon. Bye.